Would you believe me if I told you that there was an animal that could have been two times larger than a blue whale? Yes you heard that correctly two times the size of a blue whale. This behemoth is a massive unnamed ichthyosaur nicknamed Hector Zichthyosaur. It is based on a massive vertebrae that was 457 millimeters in diameter. Unfortunate news, the fossil has been lost but do not fret there is some additional information on this that will increase its validity and perhaps mean that the fossil will be found again one day. The ichthyosaur itself is an insane 40 meters long which even beats out its fellow massive ichthyosaurs Ost Colossus and Lilstock Monster by quite a high margin. The most reliable and conservative size estimate is based on Shastasaurus which provides a staggering weight of 390 tons. However another more liberal estimate based on Shanosaurus gives an insane mass of 493 tons. The Shanosaurus estimate is less reliable than the Shastasaurus estimate but is still decently valid. These estimates aren't very precise as it does assume it's an exact upsized clone of other ichthyosaurs however it is the best estimate we have considering we only have one vertebrae's diameter to work with. Take that in for a moment a living animal that was almost 11 times the weight of an Airbus A319 commercial plane. I've got some size comparisons at the end of the video to put into perspective just how massive this titanic creature is. Just in case you were interested I decided to calculate this titan's bite force based on Temnodontosaurus as Shastasaurus doesn't have a bite estimate. Just a disclaimer this is all theoretical and Hector's ichthyosaur was probably a ram feeder and not macropredatory. Using this calculation for bite force that I got from the Vividens Discord server we get a staggering bite force of 551 kilonewtons or 56 tons of force which is more than three times the highest estimate for Otodus megalodon which has the highest bite force of any animal. And now for the history of the fossils. The fossils were found in the Mount Potts region near Canterbury. South Island in the Dayanella Zone in 1974 and Richard Lidecker decided to nickname these fossils after James Hector. The fossils cannot be found today however they are mentioned in museum records and the theory of them being lost in transit is false meaning that the fossils are probably in a museum somewhere in New Zealand and may be found again. And now as promised the size comparisons. Here first we have a size comparison with Ost Colossus, Blue Whale and Megalodon to give a general scale of this behemoth. This is a size comparison with other massive ichthyosaurs. Next we have a size comparison with the modern titans of the world cetaceans. Here we have it compared to Paracutus Colossus, another animal that tried to dethrone Blue Whale but ended up getting downsized to 75 tons. Thank you for watching this video. It is my first long form paleontology video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you liked the video please subscribe as it helps the channel. If you are interested in learning more about this or paleontology in general I would recommend joining the Vividens Discord server as I have learned a lot from being on there. Until next time, goodbye.